Hi everyone, it's me Vanessa, and welcome back into my kitchen. Today's plant fire recipe is so delicious and so easy. I can't wait to show you how to make this. So let's introduce our star ingredients. Well, actually, let me tell you what we're having. We are having, we are going to make a beautiful, simple chocolate sauce. Everybody loves chocolate. I mean, who doesn't like chocolate? I love it. So, the, but the trick is chocolate sauce that isn't filled with a bunch of garbage. And when you buy those bottled jars of, uh, or plastic containers of like Hershey's chocolates, it's high fructose corn syrup and, and you know, sugars and oil. It, it's just not, not something good. This is so simple, basic, and you're gonna love, you're gonna wanna put it over everything. Because I, I do believe that chocolate makes everything taste better. So let's introduce our star ingredients. We have maple syrup, 100% pure maple syrup. Not your Aunt Jemima, okay? Because again, your Aunt Jemima, that's filled with, you know, with fructose, corn, high fructose corn syrup. Um, you wanna get, if you're gonna have syrup, you wanna do something, a pure maple syrup. And then we have organic cocoa powder. And again, you want, what you wanna look for is just one that, it doesn't have to be organic, but what you want is one that's non-alkaline. So you want, so, so all it should have in there is just the cocoa powder. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're just gonna take the cocoa powder. And again, it's really kind of a, um, not really too much measurement. I'm gonna put a nice spoonful of the uh, chocolate in. And then as far as how much to put in maple syrup, it really, you know, it's probably about three to one. Um, I pour a little bit in there and you'll mix it up. See, see that in here. You know how it's powdery, so you get, it's going to take a little bit of uh, time to stir to get the powder all mixed up. If you don't want to use maple syrup, you can use agave. It is uh, beautiful um, to use instead of the maple syrup. You can also try brown rice syrup, and that's kind of more of a honey consistency. But really, um, I love using brown rice syrup. It's a little less sweet, very even. Um, you don't have that, oftentimes, that sugar high that you get when, when you're using um, just a, a basic sugar. You don't get that so much with, uh, with brown rice syrup, or even with maple syrup for that matter. So once we've got a nice blend, you have your delicious chocolate sauce. So let me, sometimes it can take a little bit because a little time of just making sure that you get, a, get all, the, all the chocolate bits pushed down so that you get a nice creamy, rich texture. I've actually made this a little thin. I probably add a little bit more of the of the cocoa powder. Now, uh, what I also love to do is I love to put in a little bit of cinnamon into this and make it, just kind of gives it that extra little flavor with the chocolate and cinnamon. Good mix up. And this will last for a long time, by the way. You can make this up and put it in the fridge and then it can last for, um, you know, I've had it in there for at least a week or more. I mean, there's, there's nothing really to go bad with that. So if you make too much, just pop it in the fridge. That simple. So let's. I have to taste this because, because you know, you know me. I can't let you guys make anything unless I know it's going to taste good. So I better make sure it tastes good. Mm. Now that is a chocolate syrup sauce that is really worth putting over a fresh banana, over some nice cream. Um, over coconut macaroons, you name it. As I said before, chocolate makes everything better. So for more incredible plant fire recipes and inspiration, head on over to vanessachamberlain.com. Happy eating, healthy hugs, and I'll see you next time.